Hey guys, this is Nathan, and welcome to the Gaming 4. Today in this unturned update video, I'm going to be going over the update 3.14.11. So, let's get started. So, one of the first main changes is with the GUI and the inventory. So, um, currently, you can now right-click, and you'll get this nice new menu um, that has certain options for what you can do. Also, you can right-click weapons, and there'll be, like, a salvage option as well. And, yeah, stuff like that. Um, another change is that this also shows the fuel status. And if you equip it, it should show you if it's full or empty as well. Uh, I think it did that before, though. So, another change, another really actually large change, if, you're, um, if you have an item in your hand and you press R it will rotate it and this is actually really fantastic because it really helps with um, item management you can now switch uh, weapons and everything all the way around and it really 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 helps with you know just being able to store items efficiently and also when you pick items up if they are too large or something it will rotate them to get them to fit better so that's another plus Another change that has been implemented is that um, now if you have infection, it will slowly get worse and worse. So as you guys can see, I've got 87% infection. If I don't treat that, I'm not sure exactly what rate it'll get worse at. But eventually it'll be like a lot worse and it'll be going down visibly. And maybe by the end of the video we'll see that happening. Also, another thing that you may be noticing is that my health and hunger are going down really quickly. Um, that's another change that has happened. And a lot of people have been complaining about this one, but um, I guess Nelson just wanted to make it more realistic. And yeah, so yeah, he's made it a little harder, at least in terms of survival. So as you guys can see, it's already going down. I just ate something. We're already at 99%. Um, another change is that... With bedrolls now, there are uh, there's a change when you place them on top of a vehicle. So theoretically, you can place it on top of a vehicle because it is just a barricade, and you know you can decorate your vehicles and stuff like that. But now, ones on top of vehicles, you cannot claim. So as you see, the only option I have is to salvage. And actually, speaking of salvaging, um, the salvage is a lot faster now in single player. Because, I don't know, people were just getting really annoyed about how slow it was. Now, as you see, guys, it's really, really fast. Okay, another really cool change. Um, I'm going to give myself 348, a crossbow. And this has to do with uh, one of the next update changes. So, there is a new type of arrow. And you probably noticed it in my inventory before. So, this is the normal arrow. Um, you know, just normal arrow. And now we have explosive arrows. And that was still a normal arrow. Come on. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Now we got an explosive arrow. As you can see, the, the, there's a big difference even in the way it looks. You can see the big explosive tip there. And yeah, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, they are still silent in terms of the person that's shooting them will not attract the zombies. So the place where they explode from will attract the zombies, but not the person that's shooting them themselves. And so yeah, these are really, really cool. Um, yeah, pretty much a one-shot. Um, as you noticed, some of the shots before were not one-shots. I think the zombies have gotten a little more uh, armor or a little more health or something. So, yeah, definitely, definitely worth it. One shot kills, splash damage. Good way to attract hordes of zombies together and then kill them. So, yeah. Like that. Almost a triple kill. But, yeah, anyway, I can play with these all day. They're so awesome. Another change that has happened, uh, this one's relating to skills. As you can see, most of my skills are maxed out. But I left one unmaxed out. Here we go. So, 
a change with skills. So with crafting, you can hold control and click on what you want to craft, and it'll craft as many of those as possible. Well, now he's added that implementation to skills. So now I'm gonna just going to hold control, and I'm going to click on the sneaky beaky, and it will upgrade all of them at once. So instead of having to click through them, if you just got a lot of a lot of XP, you can just quickly do that, and it'll just make it a lot more uh, convenient, I guess. That's the main thing. Um, all there is also a new change uh, relating to um, handcuffs. Once you are handcuffed now, there will be a notification probably around here, if you can see my cursor, that shows that you are handcuffed. And so pretty much it just will keep you from forgetting that you're handcuffed. That's pretty much the only point to that. Now, during the uh, April Fool's Day itself, this is actually the day after, so I wasn't able to experience this, sadly. I was pretty busy that day, that's why I'm getting this video out late anyway. But, there was an upgrade to the sports shot just for that day that made it shoot rockets. And, sadly, that is gone, but, you know... That that was a thing. So, you know, it's too bad if you guys missed it. I did as well. I thought it would have been cool to mess around with, though. Okay, there's only a couple more changes. Um, two of them have to do with uh, the graphics. So if we go into graphics settings, there is now a restore defaults button. And the second change is that there is a second render mode. So there's forward, and then there is deferred. And there is a little bit of difference when you press deferred. You can see it's a lot more, it's a lot simpler. Um, the lines between materials are a lot clear defi clearly defined. And forward, it's like nicely blended. So yeah, that's that's pretty much the main difference in terms of what it looks like. In terms of performance, um, the forward is going to be a little harder on your computer, and deferred is just going to be a lot simpler. So I mean, obviously you can tell why, just because forward adds a little more quality to you know the graphics of the game so now there's only two more changes I want to mention um, if you go to servers and let's just look internet for Washington come on there's got to be some servers there we go there is an option now to favorite them outside of the server so if you see a server on here that you know you like and you forgot to like it in the game you can just click on one of these stars and it'll automatically add it to your favorites list just in the same way you can just sort of unlike them there and they will disappear from your favorites list and so the last change um, that has happened is within the editor and this one's actually pretty awesome um, I didn't really understand until I, I looked at it but okay so the change has been made to the train painter and the, and the material painter excuse me so as you guys can see, it is much different now. So before it used to be this big, flat, plain sort of thing. Now there's an outline. And what's really nice about this is it, uh, it fits the form of the land. So pretty much before it would just be on top and you weren't really sure where exactly you were painting. Now as you can see, it, it fits to wherever... It, like it'll fit to the slope and you can see exactly where you're gonna be painting and it also fits to objects within the environment so yeah I thought that was really cool and um, I think it does the same thing for materials yeah it does so yeah that's pretty much it for this update um, just in case you guys are wondering this is dusty what I'm working on it so far and anyway guys thank you guys for watching please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see some more I will see you all later. Listen.